Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing an evening fake hike. <laughs> I love the fake hikes, man. You know, once you get the fake hikes in your system, you just can't get away from them. It's actually dusk right now, so yeah, I gotta get that fake hike in, you know. Gotta keep fit so I can uh, earn Canada an Olympic gold medal in the new fake hiking category. Fake hiking, man. Oh, whoo, it really takes a lot out of you. So y'all wondering why I do fake hikes. Well, I do fake hikes because you know, there's been a lot of uh, other RV nomads that have done fake hikes and they've done them quite successfully. So actually if I face this way towards the sun going down, you got more light for me to uh, talk about fake hiking. Yeah, it, fake hiking is really, really important to keep your uh, mental acuity going and you need to keep your physical fitness at the top and you can only do that with fake hiking because why would you go to a gym it's crazy there's gym memberships there's crowds there's like crazy people some of them might even have to covids you never know what's going on there but why would you bother with any of that hooey when you can just fake hike you just find like a, a trail somewhere you could say you're on the john muir trail even though you could be two thousand miles away from it doesn't matter you could just say like as long as there's trees in the background like look at look at we got trees we got a trail that's all you need like it's really important just have the basic ingredients for fake hiking there's not much to it you got the camera you upload it to youtube you show a trail which there's a trail right there you show uh that you walking on it and uh if you want you get some props you get like a like a backpack which i don't have because i'm like a really expert fake hiker i don't need any of that i don't need water i don't need like supplies i don't need food i don't need a tent i need nothing because i'm at the pinnacle of the fake hiking uh stratosphere right if you want to get to the top like i have of the fake hiking world you you gotta just listen to me I'm like the guy that climbs El Capitan with no ropes and just his fingers. That's me <laughs> in terms of fake hiking. I can do it all, man. I didn't even bring bear spray or a gun. There, there's like cougars and black bears and even rabid raccoons that could bite me. It's horrible out here, man. I'm telling you, it's freaking dangerous. But I'll give you some tips on fake hiking. For example, you don't have to actually cover the entire trail. What you do is you can actually start walking in one direction and, and say whatever you want to say and fool your audience into thinking that you're doing something fabulous. And then what you do is what you do a little jump cut and then you, you actually flip and go the other direction because it looks different, you see? See, it looks different in the background. So it looks like you're actually in a different part of the trail. Yeah, that's how good I am. I figured this all out. You can actually even go into a darker region here. I'm gonna go into a darker, more forested region, and it's gonna look scary. Oh, look, it's getting super scary. Look at how scary. Can't even barely see my face there. Woo, it's super scary. See how scary it is? Look, I am in the deep wilderness of Canada. It's horribly scary, and you can't even see me. And then what I do is I flip it around, I start going the other direction, and then suddenly it looks like a new trail. Yeah, it's fabulous, man. Woo, I can even start moving quicker. Look how quick I can move, because I'm so fit, because I'm an Olympic gold medalist in the fake hiking category. Look at that, woo. Look at that beautiful lake and the sheen there. You can see the dusk. Oh, it's fabulous. Fake hiking is just so good, man. Oh, man. I love fake hiking. I don't know about you. You guys gotta try that. Man, I've really worked hard on this fake hike today. So what you gotta do is you gotta send me money. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't actually send money to people you see on YouTube. That's really stupid. Oh, and if you wanna get fancy when you're fake hiking, you do a Dutch angle. Get the angle down like that. Looks like you're like an artiste. Yeah, you're like super fancy. By the way, I'm wearing the static camper van t-shirt. 
because I'm not static. I want to zig when you think I'm going to zag. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to change his t-shirt soon and say he's hyper non-static because he's moving and grooving. Man, he's a long ways from that uh, Washington, or as they say, Washington. <laughs> I'm sure glad I got some cardio today with the fake hike. Sun's going down. Things are beautiful here in the hinterland of British Columbia, man. Woo! I'm so pooped, I can't wait to see what's on Dateline NBC tonight. <laughs> oh, man. But I did do a long drive on the murder cycle today. Got me some uh, KFC cheesecakes. I love those cheesecakes. Drove like a madman. Speed limits are crazy high up here, which I love. So uh, I drove that murder cycle pretty quick. Anyway, oh, you want to hear some streams? Oh, I want you to hear some streams. Listen, listen carefully. Listen to the babbling brook. You guys hear that? That's a babbling brook. Anyway, that's enough babbling for tonight. I got to go check out, see what my baby darling, Carolyn's RV life, what she's been up to. I think she uploaded a video today talking about something crazy. I think it has something to do with nomad land and how she's milking her <laughs> tiny little roll a little bit more for some cash. It's all pretty funny. I might get a couple snippets out of that. When we were shooting the movie. But in the meantime, folks, stay safe and keep your wheels on the ground. I'll talk to you soon from the hinterland of British Columbia. Over and out. It's just not going to be fun to live like this anymore.